At one point, this uh, senior, uh, he, I think he was a retired fireman, he comes in, his hands are cupped, and he's got bones in his hands. And he goes over to the medical examiner, he puts the bones in front of him, he goes, this is my son. What do you say to that? This big, brawly FBI guy had his shield around his neck, and uh, you know, I looked up at him, and he's telling there's about six officers there with me, and he's like, uh, if you want to live, you, you might as well leave now. He said, uh, we're all going to die. I'm like, I can't, we can't leave. I'm, I'm not leaving. And the officers that I were there with, we're not leaving either. And we continued to evacuate and do our jobs, but, you know, we were all like, wow, we're going to die. I don't remember exactly what time it was, but we heard that there was a, a plane that went down, you know, in the area of Crystal City. You know, that's our jurisdiction. That's just beside the Pentagon. By the time we reached Arlington, we were very clear that there had been a plane that had gone into the Pentagon. I told her, listen, I know that I'm going to make it, but just in case, just in case I don't, give your daughter a big kiss for me, I love you, and that I'm thinking of you, and I'm going to get out of here. The World Trade Center is still claiming lives. People have had their lives shortened. People have lost their fathers, their mothers, to cancers, to lung diseases. People are still dying. We just saw a skeleton. The most powerful nation in the world. How could this happen?